Hi everyone, uh, we're in Rousse today. Um, this is like the nearest big city to us. Um, we do our shopping here. We go to like get food and stuff like that. And um, if we need to go to any like big electric shops, you know, electronic shops, they, that's where you go to basically Rousse. Um, Rousse is uh, basically a, a city on the, is in the northeast of Bulgaria. It's on the Danube River. Um, so you can actually get like kind of cruise ships, well not cruise ships, but cruise like river boats to um, uh, to here. And also you can get boats from here to like uh, Budapest and Vienna and that kind of thing. Um, and they call it like mini Venice or mini uh, Vienna, don't they? Little Vienna. Little Vienna, I think they call it, yeah. Um, it's a really pretty um, little town, nice buildings. Or Little Venice. A little Venice maybe, yeah, we're not sure, we're not sure. They call it something and it's good, <laughs> whatever it is they call it. It's Vienna or Venice. It's Vienna or Venice and it's little or not. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look around, we're going to get some lunch hopefully, um, depending on how busy the restaurant is. Um, yeah, basically take a nice look around. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice, cool little town. Um, so let's take a look. So we're in Happy, uh, which is a restaurant in Ruse, and we are just looking to order, and they just turned up the music, which might make it harder to hear me. Uh, but yeah, we'll take a look at the menu. Rachel and Emily are looking at the menu, uh, making their decision. I'm looking at the menu. I'm thinking about going for the Happy Steak. Yeah. Yeah, definitely thinking about the Happy Steak. What are you, th you, what are you thinking of going for, Rach? Turkey steak and roasted vegetables. Yeah. Emily's making big decisions as well, uh, whether to rip up the menu or to order from it. <laughs> now I'm thinking of going for this happy steak. What's that? Oh, the salad. Yeah, we usually do get a bit of salad, don't we? But that one's quite a pricey salad. So we, yeah, usually we share like the, I think that's like a Greek salad. So like the Gretzka salad, which is Greek salad, so... But yeah, cool restaurant, as you can see. Nice, nice restaurant here. Um, this is kind of Bulgaria's main um, chain restaurant. It's the main chain restaurant in Bulgaria. And actually, they've got one in London now, I think, in the center of London somewhere. So, you know, they're doing quite well, I think, so... Uh, but yeah, we really like it. So, yeah, let's get ordering. My drinks have arrived. Um, I've got Karmanitsa uh, beer um, and I've got uh, Citronada which is one of my favorite sort of refreshing drinks here um, it's like a kind of homemade lemonade isn't it and um, yeah it's really nice and you have to stir it because they kind of put sugar in there it's all very homemade uh, Greek salads arrived <laughs> And uh, French fries is yours, I think, Rach. And the happy, happy popcorn chicken. Yes, yeah, so we got popcorn chicken. Yeah, yeah. So the chips. I, I've got happy steak, so mine's coming next, I think. But yeah, looking very nice. The food. Emily's like kind of salivating, waiting to get it. But yeah, I really like this popcorn chicken. It's amazing, the popcorn chicken, isn't it? It just it knocks sort of KFC's popcorn chicken out of the water a bit, really. It's just really nice. They've got kind of like almonds or something in the in the in it or on the edges and the coating. Yeah, just really nice. I really like it. But yeah, it's all looking good so far. Um, but we need to wait for the happy steak. My happy steak has arrived and it is very very good very very delicious um, really tender pieces of steak 
really happy with it. Really nice, um, really tasty. Um, I don't know if it's more towards veal than steak. I don't know, but it but it's very very good. Very succulent. Um, it's not overdone. It's not chewy. It's just it's really nice. Really happy with it. Rach, how are you doing with yours? Yeah, I'm alright, but as per usual, Emily wants mine and not one. <laughs> <laughs> wants your food instead, yeah. Turkey steak though, isn't it? It looks, it looks really good. Yeah, it does look very good. Yeah. The vegetables are really nice as well. They're like, um, really yeah, mine's like kind of got the same sauce as in the uh, popcorn chicken, which is like a kind of, what kind of sauce is it? Like soy mayonnaise, yeah, and it's very, very nice. Very, very nice. And the chips are really well done here. So sort I of like nice curved kind of french fries. I really like them. And they're a really good restaurant for the amount of money as well that they charge. They don't charge like huge amounts. Um, really good restaurant, really happy with them. Yeah. I don't think it is like veal actually. It, it is actually more like steak. Um, well, in fact, it is steak. But you can see it's like. It's, it's definitely not veal, but it's really nice and um, yeah, really, really nice. That was fantastic, that steak. Um, how was yours, Roach? It's really good, but I found it really hard to eat today. Yeah, I must admit, it has been hard to uh, eat today because it's quite hot. It's probably over 30 degrees, would you say, maybe today. Getting on at least 29, something like that. It's pretty hot. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we haven't even really touched the salad, and that's sort of the thing you would think you would go for. But actually, we just wanted to focus on getting the main meals done. Oh, that was really good, that beef, very tender. Um, it's kind of got like um, like a nice gravy and it also had like um, a soy mayo um, and it also had like crispy onions were, which were a bit like, uh, they were a bit like um, like onion rings but like lighter. Like imagine like the onion ring kind of like shrunk down so it was just like kind of a crispy coating around the onion ring. It was fantastic. I mean, you know, these are sort of food that you probably get at very expensive restaurants back in the UK, I would say. Um, but it's been done like kind of as a chain meal here. Like, it's not a fast food restaurant by any means, but it's kind of like a normal sort of like equivalent to like pub cuisine, I suppose. But it's, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, and uh, the sa yeah, the salad's really fresh and really good. Everything's freshly made. Citronade has gone down well, as you can see, nearly finished. Um, that's like a homemade lemonade. Beer is getting close as well. Emily's been a bit hot and bothered as well. You haven't been so keen on all the food, um, so she hasn't really got through her chips. But yeah, it's it's a hot day, guys. It's a really hot day. And they've kind of got the misters on. You can see like mist coming, you know, like they are kind of water coming out that they're kind of spraying over the middle and um, trying to keep people cool that lady over there has got some sort of um, I don't know something to keep her cool but yeah basically a really yeah like kind of homemade fan which looks more like a kind of uh, ping pong racket <laughs> uh, I don't think it is I think it probably bend too much for that but yeah really good um, and now we're contemplating dessert potentially So uh, we've gone for dessert um, against our sort of best advice, but um, it is pretty nice here, so we definitely wanted to show it to you. Uh, Rachel's about to tuck into her watermelon. You can get it with cheese as well. But... You can get it with cheese, yeah, that's a weird, to me that's weird. Is that normal? I think it'd be nice, because cheese and fruit don't quite Yeah, well, I'm not sure. I didn't fancy cheese today, it's a bit full. That's a weird combination for me, but... Yeah, Emily's creme brulee is there. So it's like creme brulee with peach slices or bits on top. And we're still waiting for mine. Well, I've gone for like the raspberry cheesecake. Um, and that hasn't arrived yet. So hopefully that'll come in the next few minutes and then we can tuck into that. Okay, 
so my raspberry cheesecake has arrived and it looks pretty good. So look, we've got basically raspberries on top with like a raspberry sauce and then like cheesecake, which I, well, I think is cheesecake underneath. They called it like mascarpone and ricotta, which Rachel, Rachel tells me it's a cheesecake. So hopefully I shan't be disappointed. It looks really good. Every dessert I've ever had from here has been excellent. So um, I am expecting it to be pretty good. So ah, baked cheesecake. Yeah, maybe this. This is soft cheese. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Yeah. So cream cheese. Yeah. But like, it looks good to me. And I'm going to start tucking into it now. And true to form, Emily has decided she wants some of my watermelon. Um, I ordered her this creme brulee with peaches which yeah I think she's eaten that bit um, <laughs> but yeah I ordered her some some of that thinking that she'd prefer that to my watermelon but no she actually wants my watermelon <laughs> see she's more happy with that <laughs> I think she learned how to eat that at the, uh, at the hotel, hotel didn't she in, yeah uh, yeah and she, since then she's a bit of a watermelon bean isn't she I mean, I suppose it's better for her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I do like this uh, raspberry cheesecake. Yeah. Okay, so we're down on the sort of like riverfront in uh, Rousse. I don't know if you can see behind me the River Danube. You've got like, you know, it's a big, big river, one of the biggest rivers in Europe. Um, and uh, basically Rousse sits on the Danube, on the banks of the Danube. So you've got all this like, you've got big sort of boats going up and down the uh, the river all the time you know like river cruise boats um, they've kind of done it out really well now it's all been renovated you know they've got like a kids park um, and they've kind of made it all look like a lot more modern and they've got cycle lanes and that kind of stuff and uh, some sort of bars and restaurants down here as well um, and it's quite a nice little place to come although it's very hot today so when you walk down here, you sort of like get completely, um, you know, you can get completely burnt by the sun if you don't bring a hat like me. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically you've got like bars, it's just like a kind of cafe bar area here. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And you've got like loads of people sort of sitting out and having stuff like sweet corn and ice creams. And, you know, there's a, like a kid's bouncy castle as well, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I think I saw a one of the river cruise boats, and th and that's one of the things uh, kind of like people come to Rousse sometimes, like other parts of Europe, like sort of like um, Austria and Hungary, they may come to uh, Rousse via the kind of river boats. So there's one there at the moment, I think. I think there's a boat in at the moment, so let's go and have a look at that. Uh, but yeah, you get a lot of like kind of cruise boats. This looks like it's called Sofia, so maybe it's a Bulgarian boat. And I expect this boat will go up and down to like probably to Vienna or Budapest or somewhere like that. And it's pretty cool. And we've we've always considered actually looking into traveling on one of these boats. But I think it takes a good you know few days to get up to um, to Vienna. But yeah, it's a very nice 
very nice spot and this uh, you know it's one of the most famous rivers in the world really so pretty cool to have it on your doorstep here in Rousse so yeah really good I, I really like it down here it's got a lot better when we first came here that it was kind of a bit run down down here wasn't it Roach yeah, they've, um, renovated, it. they've yeah. renovated it quite a bit yeah. and you know they've kind of done it up and modernized it so it's really cool yeah they've got um, some like nice plants down there and a little kids um play park yeah and um there was like an old bridge and they've renovated that because it was all rusty and horrible yeah and they've kind of made like a kind of crossing point there's like little trains that go past here like kind of i guess they're freight type trains yeah, i don't I know so. um they don't there's not a lot it's not like massive passenger services i, I think it's more of a port see the line there it's like a port yeah kind of like a River. Maybe a river port, yeah. Um, and sometimes you see a train going along there at very slow speeds. It's, it's never going that fast, but yeah, I think there's like, is that two boats? I think there might be even there's two, yeah. Because there's two boats in at the moment, yeah. So I think the next one might be a restaurant or not in use. Yeah, yeah this one, this one but here. This one I mean, I'll try and flip the camera around so you can see this kind of boat we're coming up on now is another. Um, yeah, these are kind of like pontoons and this is another river cruising boat that's kind of like come in as well. So you do get a lot of tourists coming in via that way to Rousse and then you do see the odd sort of small group of tourists kind of being given tours around Rousse by maybe English or German speaking um, people, um, basically giving them tours of the city. So. You know, it's it's kind of a like a mini tourist place. It's not the most sort of touristic place in the world, but there's definitely some tourism here. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that's the Bolero. Uh, looks like it's got a Bulgarian flag as well. So not sure where that's off to. But yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool place. We should mention actually that um, Rousse is right on the border with uh, Romania so uh, the Danube there kind of is the border between well it is the border not kind of but it, it, it's the border between um, Romania and Bulgaria uh, so the other side that you're seeing the sort of like trees on the other side uh, that that's um, Romania so over there is like a little town called Gheorghiu and uh, we've been over a couple of times, haven't yeah. we, Rach? And it's okay, yeah. Um, it's a bit smaller than Rousse. It's not like a big town, is it? Not really a big town. No, so this is definitely the bigger side of the river. Um, but you're not that far from Bucharest, so you can drive to Bucharest like kind of about, would you say like an hour or so? Maybe a bit longer than an hour? I don't know. Yeah, probably an hour. It's probably possible. Um, and I think even if you don't drive, there's kind of like taxis from... Uh, from here that will take you to uh, Bucharest as well and buses um, I think the train takes like three hours. It's probably not worth bothering with the train um, but there are buses and also um, you, you, Bucharest has a big international airport so it's often kind of better to fly into Bucharest and transfer to here than it might be to go to Sofia and then kind of make your way to here as well because so Sofia is actually further away than Bucharest is to Rousse so so yeah so sometimes we'll fly to Bucharest if we're coming here from the UK or somewhere sometimes we go to Sofia it depends it depends on the price of the flight doesn't it yeah depends on how sort of I don't know times of the flights that kind of thing so but you kind of see that as like there's a few different international airports really you've got kind of Sofia You've got um, uh, Bucharest, you've got Varna, you've got Borges. And, you know, depending on price, depending on flight times and where you're leaving from, maybe in the UK as well, it, you know, which airports, it, it's, you know, there's a lot of choice. There's a lot of options to get here. So, yeah, it's quite good, really. We're quite yeah. lucky, really, with that. In that respect, there's really quite a few different airports. I mean, the difficulty is that we're kind of two hours like at least from each airport aren't we yeah it's not uh, two or three hours maybe maybe Sofia can be four 
uh, five maybe even, but um, I don't know with the transfer guy, it's, it's probably about four. <laughs> but uh, but the but the point is that you've got we're kind of not close to any airport as such, but kind of in the middle of all of them, which makes it kind of a good location to be, I think. Because if you were kind of closer to some of them, you might be a bit further from the other ones, and then you might end up with like much more expensive flights most of the time. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, you've got um, sort of like they've done a lot of kids playgrounds haven't they so there's another kids playground there you've got kind of a bridge yeah. that takes you up across and then there's kind of like you can't really see them from down here but there's kind of like restaurants above that kind of look down and you can sort of you know you can get kind of food up in those restaurants and look down over the uh over the area and then over the Danube but yeah they've got kids playground stuff which is pretty cool but it's getting pretty hot so I think Emily's getting a bit hot and bothered here I uh, know she's she's she she's seen the she's seen the slide so who knows she might want to have a go on those uh, but yeah yeah it's pretty cool down here well worth a visit We've had a nice day out in Rousse, as we always do, and now we're heading back to the car because we need to go shopping um, and then off home. <laughs> 